house of the Lord. We pray, say praise the Lord to each and every one of you. Beloved, it's prayer time in the temple. It's prayer time in the temple. No matter where you are right now, hallelujah, if you can just bow your head in humility and those of you that are here in the temple, we're going to ask you just to rest on your feet as the prayer of thanksgiving is being offered yes. unto yes. To our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Most gracious heavenly God, the giver and sustainer of all life. We come to you this morning as humbly as we know how. We thank you for carrying us this week without a hurt, harm, or danger. We thank you for your protective mercies. We thank you for your everlasting grace. We thank you for your continued favor that you blessed us on this week and throughout the year, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for everlasting grace, how you bestowed upon us, yes. Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. We give you mercy and we give you favor right now, Jesus, hallelujah. We thank you this day, Jesus, hallelujah, for who you are in our lives. We thank you right now, Lord, hallelujah, how you watched over us as we travel throughout the week, hallelujah. We thank you right now, Jesus, hallelujah, for all that you are doing in our lives right now, Jesus, hallelujah. We thank you right now for the spirit of the everlasting God that is in this temple right now, Jesus, hallelujah. We ask you right now, Jesus, hallelujah, to search your hearts, anything that's unlike you. We come right now, baby, hallelujah. We thank you for who you are, hallelujah. You say, I am the Lord, thy God, and I will never change, hallelujah. We thank you right now, God, you continue to hear your people right now, hallelujah. We ask you right now to bless the Adams family right now, hallelujah. And the Lord and daughter and yes. their sister right now. Comfort the family right now in their time of bereavement. Yes. We ask you right now, you're already in the hospital. You're Thank already you. in the nursing home. You're already in the hospital. Thank Hallelujah. you. Yes. Yes. We yes. yes. We thank you. We thank yes. you right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we go into our worship experience. Hallelujah. Be a Michael. Hallelujah. That oh, we yes. would give your yes. praise. Hallelujah. Jesus. Let our worship be worthy. Hallelujah. Yes. We thank you right now, hallelujah. Your name will be highly lifted up, hallelujah. In Jesus' name, in that Matthew's name, amen. Amen. Come on, give him praise. Give him praise, hallelujah. It's worship time. Yes, we Jesus. come to worship him. It's worship time. Hallelujah. The song says faithful. Faithful is our God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, I love this song because this song oh, yes. declare Thank you, Jesus. that he is faithful. He is forever faithful. We are reaping the harvest he promised. Hallelujah. Take back what the devil stole. Hallelujah. And I rejoice today. For I shall recover it all. Hallelujah. The song of declaration. Thank you. Hallelujah. For how faithful our God is. Oh, bless you. Bless you. Come on, just wave your hands. Hallelujah. And join in with worship. Faithful. 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 Faithful is our God. Faithful. Faithful. Oh, 
returning to the under kingdom. We coming back to take what you stole. Hallelujah. Yes. We shall recover it all. Hallelujah. We bless it, Jesus. We got to learn how to serve warning. Hallelujah. To the enemies. Hallelujah. That God is faithful. Oh, we bless it, Jesus. We thank you. Oh, we thank God for the worship. We thank God for the worship. And at this time, we're going to have our morning word being read to us by way of Sister Veronica Gibbs. Let's receive her with a hearty amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This morning, scripture is coming from 1 Corinthians, the first chapter, starting at the first verse. Paul called to be an apostle of Jesus Christ through the will of God and Sosides, our brother. Yes. Unto the church of God, which is at Corinth, to them that are sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be saints, with all that in every place called upon the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, both theirs and ours. Yes. Grace be unto you, yes. and peace from God our Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God always on your behalf. Yes. For the grace of God which is given to you, given you by Jesus Christ, yes. that in everything ye are enriched by him, in all utterance and in all knowledge, even as the testimony of Christ was confirmed in you, so that ye come behind in no gift, waiting for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall also confirm you unto the end, that ye may be blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, yes, yes. by whom ye were called unto the fellowship of his Son, yes. Jesus Christ, yes. our Lord. The word of the Lord is already Bless blessed. Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's give God thanks Jesus. for the reading of his words. Yes. Yes. And Jesus. 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 already said that he is faithful. And at this time, we have a presentation coming to us by way of the ensemble. Savior, do not pass me by. Yes. Hallelujah. Put your hands together and let's worship him together.
Beloved, the word of God is in the house. Hallelujah. The word of God is in the house. Hallelujah. God has deposited his mighty word into the bosom of his man servant. So no matter where you are right now, we're going to ask you just to raise your hands and repeat after me. Bread of heaven, Bread of heaven. Feed, me feed me until I want no more. I want no more. A trade about the way temple, none other than Elder Carl Gibbs Sr. Let's give God a hand praise yeah. for the election official that he has chosen in this part of it. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody, for this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it, for I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. David said, This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and delivered him out of all of his trouble. Now the Lord is that spirit, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. We thank God for this day that he has made. We thank God, amen, for all things because God continues to do all things well. We greet you in that match the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible simply declares, wherefore God has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow and things in heaven and things in earth and things ever under the earth and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. We thank God for allowing us to see another day that he has kept us another day we have never seen before we thank god for giving us this opportunity amen a opportunity of a lifetime amen and for that alone amen god is indeed worthy we thank god for this day that he has made you might as well rejoice and be glad in it amen god is continually opening doors for us providing for us amen making ways out of no way amen letting us see brand new mercies every single day amen god is indeed worthy of all praise amen no matter what you're going through no matter what you're facing amen in this life as long as you have god on your side amen you are he is more to you than anything on this world in this world on this earth amen with god on your side amen you're guaranteed to make it amen 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 heaven and earth may pass away amen but as long as i am with god and in god and in his word amen i will come out victoriously we thank god for continuing to bless us amen we we honor the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Today is a very special day. Amen. Deacon Atkins. Amen. We thank God. We celebrate you today. Amen. Letting God, I mean, God allowing you to see another year. Amen. We celebrate your birthday. Amen. Amen. Those of you that are watching. Amen. Those that are here. Amen. Just shout out. Amen. To Deacon. Amen. Wish him a happy birthday. Amen. May God continue to shine his countenance up upon you that he continue to be gracious toward you that he may give you all the desires of your heart amen giving you strength amen good strength and good health amen in the name of lord jesus christ we honor you today god bless you deek amen we thank god for you amen being in the pillar amen in this ministry i thank god for him in the name of lord jesus christ amen we thank god for all the birthdays amen in this month amen amen sister luigi was last week amen deacon Akin is this week amen we have a couple more birthdays coming up amen before the end of this year amen i thank god for each and every last one of you amen amen god is continuing doing great things in our eyes whereby we're glad amen we're in the, our thanksgiving season amen amen today amen is the last day that we will amen have the barrel amen in the vestibule amen for folks coming in dropping off amen canned goods amen dry goods amen thank god for them i thank god for you amen those of you that are watching amen from far and near even for those that are uh, sending monetary gifts amen i thank god for you amen without you amen we would not be able to do amen 
amen what we're trying to do in this community amen feed amen some family less fortunate families amen in this community to be a blessing to them amen this is what this ministry is all about amen to help the community build up the community amen to be a resource amen of uh strength amen and this is what we're here for and i I want to be a blessing to these people in the community amen i thank god for you amen i seen amen mother thank you for bringing i seen you coming in with your bag amen and and placing it in the barrel god bless you amen those of you that's coming every sunday with something in your hand god bless you amen for the outpouring of gifts amen thank you so much amen i don't want to begin to name names because i'm gonna forget somebody but I want to say thank you to every last one of you. Amen. For amen. Supporting in this Thanksgiving. Amen. Drive. Amen. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And God is going to return unto you. Amen. In a marvelous way that's going to literally blow your mind. Amen. Eyes have not seen, neither ear heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man. The things God has in store for you. Amen. When you give, when you give amen give with a cheerful heart amen amen give as if you're giving unto god because you are giving unto god amen even hey, the lord even said in his word amen amen when you give to the poor as as if you're lending to god and i don't know about you amen god don't owe anything that he pays amen amen i thank god amen that he will pay amen back to you in a wonderful way amen i thank god for you thank god for the service thus far i pray that you have received something out of the worship experience amen amen i pray that you receive something my my spirit has been enlightened amen i thank god for you amen even for these last few weeks amen we've been amen on the series of worship we've been talking about worship worship what it is to be worship and when we come into god's house amen we ought to come amen with an agenda to meet him because whenever we come into his house his agenda is to meet us and on every level and every need amen to ever to fill the capacity of your heart amen that god will be Amen. All that you ask him to be and that and more. Amen. We worship him. We honor him. We praise and magnify his name. Amen. Because he's worthy to be praised down in the city of our souls. Amen. We thank God for you. Amen. Well, it comes a part of a service. Amen. That every last one of us can participate in. You can't beat God's giving no matter how hard you try. But the more you give, the more he'll give back to you. Press down, shaking together, running over back in good measure. Will he return unto your bosom? I'm a living witness. I'm not saying that just to be saying that. Amen. God continually continues to blow my mind. Amen. Even on this week. Amen. Amen. I uh, had to put my vehicle in the shop. Amen mechanic called and gave me a number amen that i uh, did not amen expect amen i know there were some things that i need to be done amen to the vehicle amen to bring everything amen amen to up to code amen some things amen that uh was laid on my heart to do amen but i didn't expect it to be that much of a bill my god from zion amen i thank god i thank god i thank god Amen. That God has continued opening doors and providing. God is a provider. Amen. Amen. The Bible says you have not because you ask not. Amen. Closed mouth. Do not get fed. You have to open up your mouth. I know God sits high and sits low. He looks low. Amen. He has a whole world in the palm of his hand. And he's omnipresent. He's omniscient. Amen. He knows. He understands. He knows everything that there is that is to know he knows your needs he knows your desires of your heart but if you don't open up your mouth amen 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 god said in his word you have not because you ask not you have to open up your mouth and i thank god amen that god has amen blessed me because i did ask i ain't gonna lie yes i did amen and god will continue to bless amen well Amen. Those of you that are watching, amen. Those of you here, you can click on the Cash app. There are four ways to give. Amen. Cash app. Amen. You click on the Cash app. Amen. Type in dollar sign GBWT440. And whatever denomination God has laid on your heart to give, amen. I pray that you would do so. Amen. Those that are writing a check, 
You can write the check out to Greater Bible Way Temple. That's four words, Greater Bible Way Temple. You can mail all checks and correspondence to Greater Bible Way Temple 440-442 North 63rd Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 19151. Amen. Those that are here, you can, amen, give your offering in person. And the last, amen, way, amen, you can click on the church website. Amen. Amen. Right at the bottom of the screen, there's a donate button. Amen. You can click on that donate button. and It will guide you. Amen. To where. Amen. You can make your. Amen. Donation in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Well, those that are here, we're going to ask that you would rest on your feet. Amen. Get your seed offering into your hand. Those that are watching, if you don't mind, just raise your seed offering up into this atmosphere. It don't matter. Amen. You're doing, you're following the rule. Amen. You're following, amen, the instructions, and you will be blessed in a marvelous way. With, just repeat after me with this seed I sow. Supernatural blessings will flow. With this seed I sow supernatural harvest will grow father in the name of lord jesus christ we come to say thank you god we thank you for this hour we thank you for, thank you for this moment we thank you for those that have to give in the name of lord jesus christ even those that have not to give we ask that you would bless them in a marvelous way that by the next time they'll be able to see it into your kingdom bless every giver in the name of lord jesus christ lord god multiply this offering as you did the fish and bread that we may be used for the purpose that be taken up for in jesus name we pray every heart say amen service now in the hands of the officials coming out the side aisle back up the center amen in jesus name god bless you Somebody ought to declare and decree into this atmosphere. Unlimited release is coming my way. Oh, come on. Tell somebody unlimited release is coming my way. I declare it and I decree it into this atmosphere. We thank God for your giving in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. It is my prayer that God will give back to you unlimited release. I believe God. Amen. And he will bring it to pass. Well, there is a word from the Lord concerning you today. Amen. Get your Bibles, get your phone, get your tablet, whatever instrument that you use to search the scriptures. Get that in your hand. And if you will meet me in a very familiar passage of scripture, I'm talking about David today, since we're in this month of November, we're approaching uh, Thanksgiving. So uh, I think it would be even more appropriate for us to examine the word of God concerning thanksgiving. So turn with me to Psalms 107. Psalms 107, beginning at verse number one down to verse number eight in its entirety. Amen. Psalms 107. And we're going to begin at verse number one, reading down to verse number seven. I'll be reading out of the King James Version, whatever version that you do have. I pray that you would follow along with us. Amen. As we read out of the word of God, we're going to ask everyone that is physically able. Amen. To rest on your feet as we give God reverence to the reading of his word. Those of you that are watching, amen, reverence God in the reading of his word and the word of the lord declares psalms 107 and 1 oh give thanks unto the lord for he is good for his mercy endureth forever let the redeem of the lord say so whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy and gather them out of the lands from the east and from the west from the north and from the south they wandered in the wilderness in a solitary way. They found no city to dwell in. 
hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them out of their distresses. And he led them forth by the right way, that they might go to a city of habitation. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. And the word of the Lord is blessed. God, we thank you for the word. We thank you for the hearing and the reading of your word. God, I pray that your word will sink deep down in our hearts, not only that we may be hearers of your word, but doers of your word as well. Now, God, may the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, you are my rock. You are my redeemer. In Jesus' name, every heart say amen. Before you have your seat, just look at someone and tell somebody, thank God for mercy. Thank God for mercy. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. David says his mercy endures forever. As we approach this Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving is one of many folk favorite holidays, one of the major holidays in America. We gather together with family and friends. Uh, turkeys is the main order of the day. Maybe some have ham. I'm not knocking you, Jennifer Gwen. I'm not knocking you. Amen. Amen, Mars. I'm not saying nothing. But but you have the ham, the mashed potatoes, the, the sweet potatoes, the stuffing, the cranberry sauce, the gravy, the rice, uh, the dish, uh, cabbage, string beans, collard greens. You have a list of things on the table. And, 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 and then uh, there's football also basketball going on we have full house we full in the, in the capacity of our homes we're we're sitting at the table and we're dining we're full from the table the scene uh full of football from one channel to another basketball flowing from one channel to another and somehow we still eat more we eat snacks, we eat drinks, desserts, amen, of the sort during the game. One way to describe Thanksgiving is that it is a full day. As we gather uh, together, we pause to thank the Lord for his many blessings. Each family has its own tradition for giving thanks. Amen. But but a common way, a common one, and one, amen, that is familiar to us are the words of the psalmist. Amen. From Psalms 107. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever oh give thanks let me let me say that again oh give thanks the psalmist calls us to have a thankful heart some would say appreciation for our blessings and and that is so true we need to appreciate the blessings that God graciously bestowed upon us be thankful is more than just appreciation Thankfulness is an expression of gratitude, not for the blessing, but toward the one who gave it. Let me say that again, because somebody here today or somebody watching today have it messed up. Amen. A thankfulness is an expression of gratitude, not for the blessing, but but toward the one who gave it. You would not have what you have if it had not been for God. You would not be where you are if it had not been for the Lord. You would not know what you know if it had not been for God. And for that alone, somebody ought to give God 
praise. Amen. Because he's worthy to be praised, worthy to be adored down in the city of our soul. Somebody ought to give God thanks. Amen. Look at somebody and tell somebody, I thank God for his mercy. Thank God for mercy. You know, I thank God for mercy. I'm not here, amen, on my own. I'm here because of God's mercy. When we're talking about mercy, we talk about appreciating and being thankful with her. It comes to my mind when when you give a child a piece of candy here, she really uh, uh, appreciates what you have given them lots and, and it's filled with a whole lot of appreciation. He, he or she is ready to tear it open, tear the package or the wrapping open and just just put it in their mouths and begin to suck or chew or you want it. And, and you don't have to teach them that that type of appreciation. Kids naturally come with that. But, but, but what we do is to teach them to say thank you. We teach them, amen, to be thankful. So we say, what do you say? And we teach them to say thank you. We want them not only to pre appreciate what they receive, but you want them to show gratitude and thankfulness to others. Amen. Are we happy uh, when they are happy? Yes, we are happy when they're happy, but but what we're happy when they utter, amen, those words. Amen. Thank you. But it pleases us even more when we hear their gratitude. We see their appreciation, but it's a wonderful thing when we hear their uh, uh, gratitude. So the psalmist comes on the scene and urges us to give thanks. Notice that it is give thanks. It's the word. Amen. We have to prompt our children to say thank you. But one day they're going to learn to give thanks on their own. Mm -hmm. We have been prompted to tell God thank you. And we're pushed, if you will, into worship to tell God, thank you, amen. The leader or, or whoever is standing up before you, amen, pump and pry you to give God thanks. And as a matter of fact, we clap our hands and we tell God, thank him. Even, even when we were on the altar tarrying for the gift of the Holy Ghost. I know, I know today it's, it's something scarce, amen, 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 amen. But, but when I was coming up, we had to get down on our knees at the altar some some on their knees and some even standing and we begin to, begin to clap our hands and call on that name and somebody would say tell him thank you oh my god tarry and telling him thank you thank you jesus oh god somebody in your ear give him glory give him honor give god thanks and i came to let somebody know today i'm not here to pump or pry you but you ought to give god thanks thank him for what he has done for you somebody ought to give god praise hey Amen. Because he's worthy, worthy to be praised. We we have been pushed into worship and and we tell God thank you. But until one day we learn how to give God thanks on our own. Nobody has to pump us. Nobody has to pry you. I, I've just begun to thank God for what he has done done. I thank him for where he has brought me from. Amen. True thankfulness cannot be compelled. Uh, true thankfulness flows out of a great heart like gravy flowing on good meat. Oh my God. It's automatic amen to a grateful heart you will never understand the true meaning until you have gone through something that you know oh my god let me say it right there you will never understand the true meaning amen of being thankful until you have gone through something and you know that it was god and him alone amen that have done it you you know that it was god that brought you out of where you are amen you know it was god that that healed your body. You know it was God that gave you peace. Somebody ought to give God praise. Why? Because you know what he has done. Uh, my God, he's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. Now, now that explains why that man or that woman sitting
sitting there with tears in their eyes. Nothing is wrong, but they just thinking and thanking. Oh, my God. Tell somebody, there's nothing wrong with me. I'm just thinking of his goodness. And out of my being, I begin to give God thanks. Amen. Now it explains why you praise God the way that you do, because folk don't understand. Amen. Your story. If folk really don't know your story, you give God praise. You give God a dance. You give God a shout. Why? Because out of your heart of thankfulness, you give God glory. Because when I think, when I think of his goodness, mm, my God, when I think of his mercy, when I think of how he brought me out, oh my God, when I think of his goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for me, my soul, my soul, my soul begins to cry out, hallelujah. I thank God for saving me. I thank God for opening up doors for me. I thank God for providing for me. I thank God for opening windows of heaven and begin to pour out a blessing somebody ought to give God praise why because he's worthy he's worthy he's worthy so so when when I think of his goodness and when I think of what he has done for me amen I think of I thank him out of my being and then I f do the flip side to that I think of his goodness and all that he has done for me but I always got to thank him for what he did not do to me because I know I have done some things that was not pleasing in his sight in his sight but I thank him that he extended mercy tell somebody I thank God for mercy yeah yeah, thank God for mercy. Yeah, yeah, thank God for mercy. And mercy, because the truth of the matter is, watch this, I should have been. Mm, my God, but God blocked it. Mm, I should have been, but God blocked it. I should have been dead, but God blocked it. I should have been under, amen, a rock, but God sustained me. Mm, I should have, should have. I'm coming down your road sooner or later. I should have lost my mind, but God, amen, had blocked the chaos. Mm, I should have, amen, amen, been in an insane asylum, but God has given me peace. Yeah, my God, I should have been loveless, but God, amen, thought it not robbery and gave me love. Uh, love lifted me. Tell somebody, I thank God for his love. I'm not lucky. I'm loved. Oh, my God. Tell somebody, amen, somebody put on that comment line. I'm not lucky. I'm loved. Because when I was sinking deep in sin, mm, my God, y'all know the song, far from the peaceful shore, very deeply stained within, sinking to rise no more. But here is the shout. When I had a church, I wish I, wish I had a church in here. I wish I had a church in here because somebody ought to know this next part. But the master, oh my God, heard, heard my despairing cry. And from the waters, Oh my God, he lifted me. Now safe am I. Somebody ought to help me. Said, love lifted me. I'm not lucky. I'm loved. Oh my God, tell somebody, I'm not lucky. I'm loved. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not lucky. I'm loved. Amen. So here it is. The true thankfulness cannot be compelled a true thankfulness flows out of a grateful heart mm. it's automatic to be grateful it's giving amen by one to another it's a gift mm. uh, every bit of it as much as the gift uh, of that which was received so the psalmist that di directs us lest we lose our ways amen Oh, give thanks unto the Lord just in case you forget about the goodness of God. And I know sometimes we we think because of our education, because of our you know inner circle, because of who we know, because of what we know, we think that we're here because of that. But 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 to be honest, David said, listen, I need to remind you that you ought to give God thanks thanks amen go give thanks unto the lord our thanks are not just for the blessings mm, my god we're not thankful
thanking him alone because of the blessings. Mm -hmm. Our thanks is just not just one to another, although it would be fitting, mm -hmm, amen, to share words of thanks, amen, with our family. It, it would be fitting to share our words of thanks with our friends, amen, for all that they have done for us. But here it is. Our thanks is directed, amen, to the Lord. It is the Lord, amen, who has gave us what we have, family, friends, and our children, and even our home. God has just been good to us. Yeah, 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 yeah. It should have been me that I've been, been outdoors. It could have been me, amen, with no clothes or no shoes on my feet, amen. It could have been me living in a cardboard box, but I thank God because of his grace and his mercy. God has been good to you. That's why you ought to give God praise. Amen. Matter of fact, he's been very good to you. Let me pause because this is a good time for you to thank him for yourself. Mm, my God, tell your neighbor after all that I've been through, mm, what I release out of my mouth. Amen. I owe him that and more. Oh, my God, what I release out of my mouth is not predicated upon who is sitting around me or who sitting next to me. I, what I release least out of my mouth amen is due to him and him alone so excuse me if you will for a moment i gotta give god another praise payment because he's been good to me he's been kind somebody ought to give god praise because he's worthy to be praised somebody ought to open up your mouth and give god glory because he's worthy He's worthy to be praised. So David said, David says, David said, oh, give thanks unto the Lord for he is good. At first I thought that was a man. I mean, the point of the psalm, God is good. Amen. But we must not blow by the important little word in that sentence. It says, and then that little word is, is mm -hmm. our God is mm -hmm. my god my god our god is beloved oh my god my god our god is deep oh my god somebody ought to help me say it our god is oh my god god name mm -hmm. only reflects his existence oh my god he said to moses tell them that i am has sent you other gods are just mere amen sticks and stones but the fra the fragment of some one's imagination it it should not surprise us that the world scuffs off and say our god the lord god don't exist amen none of their other gods are real amen none of them even exist but it's it, because it's illogical amen that they would think so that so true about the god that we serve but but you and i know our god is is mm, my God, God, our God. He He revealed Himself to us, and I like, Amen. What the old mothers of Zion used to say, He revealed Himself. Mm, my God, He revealed Himself to us. He, we We know He exists, Amen. He came to us and uh, born of a virgin, mm -hmm. and as soon and soon in a, in a couple more weeks, Amen. We'll hear about this Christmas story, Amen. He lives among us, mm, my. God. God. He suffered. He died for us. Mm. Not only did he do that, he was buried. Mm, my God. But our God existence did not end in the grave. Mm, my God. He is. Mm, my God. Glory to God. Somebody ought to help me say he is. He is. He is. He is. He is the risen Savior. He is ascended. He is reigning. He is alive. He is coming back just like he said he what our God is mm, my God my God God is my all and all whatever you need him to be he is tell somebody he is he is he is he is he is my all in all my whatever it is that you need God to be he's going to be that and more my, well let me go down a few lists of who God is uh -huh. Yahweh yeah, the Lord God there there are generation of the heavens and, and the earth when they were created in that day that the Lord God made the heavens and the earth. He is the Lord 
God. Amen. Yahweh is found in the Hebrew Bible and holds a particular significance in the Jewish culture because, amen, is it has is a covenant name of God. It is the holiest name that is head is held in the highest esteem. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, Yahweh. Somebody say Yahweh. He is the Lord God. Oh my God. Then you have Adonai. Adonai simply means Lord God Master. Three times a year and all the males which appear, amen, before the Lord God, the God of Israel. And they would shout, amen, that he is the master. Man, somebody ought to say he is Adonai. He is the Lord God Master. Somebody say he is Elohim. Mm, my God father God the God of creator in the beginning was God created the heavens and the earth and it was in Genesis chapter number one Elohim reflects the sovereignty of the absolute power of God the one who created all things there is nothing that in this earth that was not created that God did not create God created everything mm, my god it was in the word of god we found that he's abba mm, my god that means father amen amen and it is a name that we can call on when we are in need of assurance we call on our parents when we need help but wherever you find yourself in a circus situation that nobody else can help you in you need to say abba father oh my god you can call on him for assurance you can call on him because of come you need comfort because you can call on him when you need protection knowing like in childlike stage we understand that our father will hear us mm, my god not only will he hear us but he will look after us that's Abba, mm, my God. Then we have Jehovah Jireh. I'm coming right down. The Lord will provide. So it was Abraham called that place. The Lord will provide. And it said, to this day on the mount of the Lord, it shall be provided. His help comes with perfect timing. There is not a time in existence of God that he did not come on time. Somebody picked up a pen and they begin to write. He may not come when you want him, but he's an on time God. Somebody ought to help me say he is an on time God. Not only is he his on time God, he is right there whenever I need him. He's right there whenever I call on him. He's right there whenever I need help from the Lord. He is right there, right by my side. Somebody ought to help me give God praise because he's right there in the midst of our trouble. Right there in the midst of our trials. He's right there on time. He's an on time God. High five somebody and tell somebody he's an on time God. Oh my God, I feel something in here. God is so good. Now, I gotta, now, now we talked about Jehovah Jireh, but I cannot talk about Jehovah Jireh without even saying that he is Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals. Mm, my God, have you ever been to a place in life when you did not know how you was going to come out of it, but you called on the God that heals? Mm, my God, he heals the broken heart and then binds up their wounds. Oh my God, he is right there when you want him so he is my jehovah jireh he is my abba huh? my god he is elohim he is he is yahweh oh my god he is jehovah nisi the lord is my banner moses built an altar and called it the lord is my banner he is our protector mm, my god he is our deliverer he is our way in mm, my god and he is our way out oh my god somebody ought to help me say Jehovah Nisi oh my God he is he is he is my banner then we have Jehovah Shalom mm, my God he is the Lord is peace mm. It was Gideon. Gideon built an altar and, and there to the Lord, he called it the Lord is peace. The name uh -huh, Jehovah Shalom appears only one time in the Bible in Judges, amen, chapter 6, verse number 24. And yet this characteristic of God is both 
powerful and essential to our daily existence. Mm, my God, he is peace. How many know that he is peace in the midst of a storm? He is my Jehovah Shalom. Mm, my God, he will give you peace wherever it is that you're going through. Oh, my God, Jehovah El Roy, the God who sees. Mm, my God, El Shaddai, the God Almighty. Amen. El Elohi, Elohi, the Lord, my Redeemer, lives. Let me come down your street. God is, mm, my God, whatever you need him to be. Somebody say, God is awesome. Yes, yeah, yeah. God is beautiful. Mm -hmm. God is, behold, the beauty of the Lord. And to inquire in his temple. How many know that God is compassionate? His compassion fails not. Mm, my God, how many know that God is the Dependable, dependable, my God, because God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. Have he said it, he shall do it. Or have he spoken it, shall he make it good? Oh, my God, he is, my God, a dependable God. He is an on-time God. Oh, my God, he is eternal. Somebody say he is alpha and omega. He is the beginning and the end. How many know that God is faithful? Not only that he's faithful, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all right, unrighteousness. God is good. Oh, my God. Somebody help me. Help me say God is good. And, and if I were to say to you, God is good, oh, somebody ought to repeat back to me, God is good all the time. Mm -hmm. For the Lord is good and his mercy is never ending his faithful ness is unchanging through all generations oh my god god is holy not only is he holy he gives us a charge be ye holy for i am holy huh oh, my god he is impartial man now i realize how true that god is does not just show favoritism but he accepts man from every nation and fear him that do right oh my god he might mean know that god is just Mm, my God, that God is kind, that God is love. Oh, my God, that God is merciful, that God is near. He is omnipresent. He is patient. God is the slow, the Lord that shows, amen, to anger, slow to anger. God is, God is our refuge. Oh, my God, God is sovereign. Oh, my God, not only is he sovereign, God is trustworthy. Whatever you need him to be, God God is that and more. He is unchanging. Mm, my God. And in God, there's victory. That's why I am victorious. Somebody ought to help me say, I got the victory because I am in God. And God is in me. Not, no wonder, no wonder you can't make me doubt him. I know too much about him. God is just wonderful. And the list goes on. I don't know whatever it is that you need God to be. He is that and more. Somebody ought to give Give God praise. Why? Because he's worthy. Worthy to be praised. Somebody ought to give him thanks. And David says his mercy. Mm, my God, his mercy endures forever. My God, his mercy endures forever. Thanksgiving is coming. Thanksgiving it's a full day. Uh, but guess what, y'all? That full day will come to a close. Uh huh. And on tomorrow, despite all that you're going to eat and all that you ate, you will still need to eat again. But God will forever be the same. He's continuing to be Jehovah Rapha. He's continuing to be Jehovah Nisi. He's continuing to be your peace, El Shalom. He's continuing to be whatever it is that you need him to be. Our God not only is, God is good. Not only is he good, He's more than that. How many know without a shadow of a doubt that he's merciful? He's merciful 
and pouring out on us the many blessings that we receive in this life. We have houses. We have some have cars, multiple. Amen. Clothes on your back, shoes on your feet, food on your table. He gives you the cranberry. He gives you the gravy. He gives you that and more. He gives you the television to watch the football games, the basketball games. More so, he is merciful in his grace. Not only that, he's merciful in his grace, he's merciful in his loving kindness toward us. He forgives our sins. He forgives our sins. Not only do he forgive our sins, he even restores. Oh my God, he restores our soul. He brings us out of the kingdom of darkness. And he introduces us to this marvelous light. When we are in need, his mercy endures forever. Whatever you need, God's got it. Whatever you need God to do, whatever you need God to be, God says, I got it. Not only do I have it, whatever you want me to be, I'll be that. And more when, even when we're alone, his mercy endures forever. When we're sick, somebody help me say, his mercy endures forever. When we're in pain, somebody say, his mercy endures forever. Whatever it is that I need from God. If I need happiness, if I need joy, I have to know that his mercy endures forever. When we come down to this place called the unknown, we don't know what life is bringing us. All we know that his mercy endures forever. Our God is good, and you need to understand the goodness of God, his mercy toward us. He, he not only gives us grace, he gives us mercy, and he is with us every step of the way. Now, we understand the awesomeness that we really appreciate him. And it's wonderful to say how much we appreciate him. But you need to open up your mouth and tell God for yourself how thankful you are. It's wonderful for your father, your mother to see how much you appreciate. But it makes a big difference when you open up your mouth and tell them thank you. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for he is good for his mercy endureth for all generations. His mercy endureth forever. I pray that you receive something out of this word of God today to enlighten you, to inspire you. We thank God for his mercy. Thank God for mercy. Tell your neighbor for the very last time, thank God for mercy. Mercy woke you up this morning. Mercy pleaded your case when you knew that you were guilty. Mercy pleaded you, pleaded your case, and now you're walking in the newness of like those of the here, those that are watching, you know, what's next that you would rest on your feet. I mean, perhaps there may be one in our midst or even watching today that want to be and the knowledge of who God is. To know for yourself the greatness, the awesomeness of the God we serve. I present to you Jesus Christ in the pardon of your sins that you would accept him into your life. That we come in and take over 
that you may be baptized in water in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. The Bible declares that you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For this promise is unto you and for them that are far off to next generations after generations. This Jesus Christ that I present to you today will forgive you of every sin that you have ever committed if you would accept them into your life. Father, we come to say thank you for what our eyes have seen and what our ears have heard. Now, God, we ask that you would touch man, touch that woman that's going through whatever it is that they're experiencing in life. God, we ask you to show them mercy. David said, oh, give thanks unto the Lord for he is good for his mercy endureth forever. God, we thank you today for all that you have done in our lives. We thank you for the good. We thank you for the bad. We thank you for the ups. We thank you for the down. We thank you for opening up doors for us. God, we thank you for providing for us like never before. Now, God, as we prepare to leave out of this place, we're certainly not out of your presence. God, if you will, go with us, go through us. Have your way. Protect us from danger seen and unseen danger. God, if you be gracious enough to assign an angel to encamp round about us as we travel to and fro, giving us safe travel. Now, God, as we in in this season of thankfulness, God, give us an appreciation of who you are. We thank you for dying on a cross for us. We thank you for hanging on a cross for us, taking all our sins. God, we thank you for even coming out of the grave with all power. God, we praise you. We magnify you like never before. God, if by chance my brother standing in the midst that's needing prayer, God, from the head, from the head to the crown, of their, the crown of their head to the soles of their feet, bless them, save them, deliver them, heal them in the name of Jesus. Whatever their petition may be, some asking for healing, some asking for deliverance, some asking for a job opportunity. God, some asking for a miracle. Whatever it is, God, if it be your will, grant them their petition. Show them the greatness of who you are and give them a thankful heart. In Jesus' name we pray. In, in Jesus' name we pray. Somebody to say amen. As we prepare to leave out this place, but certainly not of his presence, it is my prayer that God will continue to shine his countenance upon you, that he will continue to be gracious toward you. Now unto him, that is able to keep us from falling and present us fathers before his presence to the only wise God be glory, majesty, dominion, and power both now and forever. And the people of God say amen. I pray that you would have a victorious week. I love you with the love of the Lord in Jesus' name. God bless you.